Hello, today we're at APEC 2014 and we have a few demos to show you. So if we can get a little closer, I want to show you what we're showing this plane here. Right, right here we have a very old school device, it's our PWN controller, the MIC38C44A. This guy is just a, it's doing an AC to DC. Right now we're running 110 AC volts, getting 24 volts out, 1 amp. What's nice about this controller is that it's very simple, very it's using primary feedback control, so you use the you use the secondary the primary winding to do the regulation. But what I really want to show you is our micro module. We're releasing it this week. This is the MIC 38 uh, 28304. So if you can see by my finger, it's about a, it's smaller than my thumb. It's a 12 by 12 by 3 millimeters. It could, this is this device can take any any input voltage between 4.5 up to 70 volts, and it can it can you can program the output voltage. It could be as low as 0.8, as high as 24 volts. And this in this design, we're showing 12 volts output. We have 24 volt input. So right now, if I this load here is an LED driver. We're using Osram OSTAR series LED. It's this. LED is 4 amps, so as I'm running it to the max, sorry people, I don't mean to blind you guys out there, but I'm running about 4 amps here, which is actually making this module drive close to 2 amps, and, you know, and I can touch it. It's just warm, not even hot. So well, how do we do that? Is We have a packaging technology that uses the leaf frame to derate the heat out, and we do it such efficiently that we can drive 3 amps out of this guy. And then here we have our LED drivers, the constant current drivers. These are bucks. This is the MIC3203. We have four of them. Effectively, these are four EV kits. But what we did something a little bit more exciting about that. What we did is we made analog to PWM so our customers can have nice control of dimming. And to improve that, we actually did a circuit that, that actually creates a log scale. And the last scale is because why our eyes are more sensitive to the low light conditions. So this way you can have much smoother control and now you can do better color mixing. And thank you to our friends at Osram where they actually provided us multiple lamps. Some for medical lighting, for stage lighting, as well as architecture lighting and for solid state lighting. So that concludes my demonstration here at APEC.